Greetings YouTube, Sebastian here, and today I will be looking at RC20 by XLN uh, Audio. They sent me this a while back, and uh, I think I'm confident to make a video on it now. So, uh, what is Retro Color? Um, it is a plugin that really brings out the old kind of uh, lo-fi kind of sound of like old hardware and and vinyl stripping stuff from vinyl and it's really cool to use so we got this uh plain jane uh acoustic guitar from omosphere just playing here added a little compression okay so so nothing really just just compressor on there so let's add some uh noise now the noise right here basically allows you to interject uh noise from vinyl cassette tapes into it so we'll turn that up a little bit and you also have these uh controls right here so we can we can turn up the tone a little bit kind of make the vinyl a bit high which is really cool and we got this follow so it'll follow the the midi basically so we got that and we also have this duck and I think it'll duck it when when the sound plays Okay, so we got this flux right here. So this flux is pretty cool. So it basically is like an LFO or some type of randomization. Um, I kind of put a little tiny bit on the noise. So it yeah, it's kind of like an LFO. It's pretty cool. Um, and that's the noise. We also got a couple more vinyl sounds. This is my favorite in particular. It's this crackle. And we got a tape. And we got a... DC noise and hum, which is another one I like. And a VHS machine. And the last one I want to show is cassette. So you can really like give those sounds kind of some old lo-fi noise texture on there. I would go through all these, but I don't want to be here all day showing you these. So I I I say go tr try out the demo if you want to try those. But next we have a uh, wobble. Now this is basically just emulating a tape. Uh, how it can wow and flutter meaning there is pitch uh there's wobbles and like artifacts in the pitch that kind of almost sounds like a vibrato of some sort it's it's really cool so so when you're all the way at the right you're going to get a flutter and if you're all the way at the left you're going to get a wow And it's basically nice to dial this in for, you know, some some texture on on, you know, stuff that sounds too clean. 
And you can also bring down this mix too. And it almost sounds like it's a uh, chorus plugin. And you can get chorus out of this. There's a stereo mode too. But I usually just keep it on a mono setting. That way... You know, that way it's... It, it doesn't sound like it... You know, like, it, it's trying to sound like it's a lo-fi, like, artifact in the audio. Not, not like you're putting on a chorus. That's what I see it. Next, we got this distortion mode right here. And it comes with a couple modes. Uh, it comes with a uh, tube mode, which is pretty nice. And then it has this uh, iron transformer, which is pretty cool. I like this distortion mode. It's got it's got it got kind of a nice uh, sound to it. And uh, we got this air pressure right here, which is basically, I, I like this a lot. I use this a lot on my own stuff. And these right here are just distortions for shape and stuff. Yeah, but they're really, really cool and nice. But I, I, I just like air pressure, and I like uh, the iron transformer are my favorites. Okay, so now we go to the bit rate and the sample, or the yeah, the bit, the bit rate and the sample rate kind of thing. Uh, now this is pretty cool. This, this is like if you were using a keyboard from the from the 80s 70s or some kind of like you know old tape or something that's wearing out something that's limited in bits and uh isn't the highest quality ever you can really just dial it this in if you dial too much in I think if you dial too much in, like if you dial it over here, you're not going to get a very good result. I usually, uh, you may want to turn your volume down a little tiny bit, but I would, uh, I would keep it right, like right over here, you know, just a little bit. So you got this focus right here on both the digital part and the distortion part. Now I think this is kind of like, you know, it, it's basically, it, it's putting it somewhere in the spectrum, somewhere in, you know, it, it's, people may think this is an EQ, but it's really not. It's just more like a filter uh, that basically is concentrating the effect on a specific part of the sound so we can have this up at like you know 257 hertz to about 12 of uh, 14 thousand hertz or 1400 hertz so we can have this like really mm -hmm. Just be subtle in there and we can turn off this uh this cut and that basically just makes it cut everything else that's in here so so yeah if you have it all the way on a right you're gonna get a bit rate or a sample rate 
effect. And that's what I usually go for is the sample rate. I barely even mess with the, f the bit. And then we have this uh, smooth control right here, which basically smooths out the harsher kind of digital tones. And it basically doesn't sound as harsh as it would be an off. So next we got this space, and the space is basically a reverb. It's also got a focus, so if you want to focus this up in the higher frequencies, Maybe have the distortion down in a lower register, like probably about here. And the in the reverb, you can switch uh, stereo and mono, basically. And it's 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 not to drench your sound, like let's say I throw a Valhalla. Uh, room or vintage verb on this guitar. It's they're not trying to do that here. It's just to add a little space, a little uh, a little space to your sound, a little ambience. And lastly, uh, not really lastly, we still got this down here to go through. Um, we got this. Uh, this magnetic uh, portion of RC20. And what this basically does is it's uh, it's a faulty tape, basically. So so you can see those little dips there. It basically dips the audio like it's been poorly recorded or it's been... Uh, it's an old recording to where it dips. And you can actually use this for tremolos too. So yeah, you can basically uh, get some really crazy textures with with this. I usually have it on Flutter. I usually have it on a uh, stereo too, and have a little couple dropouts. And what the dropouts do is they drop the audio out randomly, so. So we can bring this up a little tiny bit. And that's basically what it does. Now what we have down here is just an input gain. Nothing nothing special. And then we have an EQ. Now this EQ is actually pretty pretty smart of them to do that. Cause some some audio uh when you you record it on a shitty like uh uh you know device from the 80s 70s or you just record it on your like boombox or something you could lose some of the highs and some of the lows doing that just because of the the fidelity of of you know the electronics inside And then you got this tone right here, which is pretty cool. Just you could boost 
a little bit. Basically is a bell EQ, I think in the mids, and a shelving EQ coming from the low to the highs is basically what that is. So we got this width right here on the output. Which I never really mess with this. I I really don't. Alright, and that's basically a retro color in a nutshell. Oh yeah, we got this magnitude right here. So if if you, you have a preset or something you're working on and you want to control the amount of RC20's effect on your audio or your MIDI, you just bring this down. And just kind of dial it into taste. Alright, uh, it's been a while since I made a video, so I guess I can throw in some bonus in here. So I made some presets for this. Um, I made a broken VCR preset. So, and then I have this degraded vinyl, like a broken record player. You're trying to sample a record, and the the record player is like pretty fucking old and just ready to fall apart. And last, I got the Synthwave cassette. I kind of use this more on Synthwave stuff that I do. So... So yeah, I'd say uh, Retro Color is pretty cool. Um, honestly, it's one of those plugins that I think is... a uh, industry standard uh for this stuff if you're not into the hardware thing if if you're not rc retro color in the future there is some tutorial stuff i want to do on it anyway uh thanks for checking out this video um leave a like if you enjoyed and see you next time